thinking about physics, you know, because I like that show, Big Bang Theory. They're funny guys. <clears throat> and physics, like physicists, stuff like that, you know, where did they come from? How did they get their start? I mean, who was the first physicist? So I'm like, I don't really know, but I'm thinking it could be. What they got, a, the apple to drop on his head, and he makes some famous cookies. Okay, so he don't make the famous cookies like Fig Newtons. But So, uh, Mr. Newton. I call him Mr. Newton because I would never use his first name because he's, you know, there's a little bit of respect there, you know. I mean, like, first name could be like Ted, like Ted Newton. I would never call him. It's almost like Ted Nugent. No, I would, Mr. Newton. Anyway, here's how it all got started. You think that's how it got started, but that's, that's here's how it got started. Now, you can look up all you want, and you're never going to find this. This is one of them illogical things where it's just like, I know this is how it happened. Somebody at some point came up with a question or a statement, and then it's a little town in, in Italy, probably, you know, could be anywhere. Uh, and that there was this somebody in the town making this statement, and the whole townspeople coming up with answers like all these complicated things. They're like, oh my God, this is, what is the answer to this thing? You know, and the guy that proposed the statement, here's the part that nobody really knows is he didn't know the answer. He just put the statement out there to, you know, to, to bug everybody, or he thought it was funny or something. You know, people do that. Anyway, every, every town was going crazy. And then one day, this guy, he says, you know what? I've got to solve this. Uh, it's something simple. I know it's simple. And this is the guy. And I'm, he had the right answer, too. And I'm going to tell you to you in a minute. But this is how physics got started. The guy sat down, and he... He's thinking logically. He says, okay, here was the question. There was a statement there. How? And he's looking for an answer, and I'm going to give it to him. And you know what? He came up with it, and everybody said, you're right. What? How did you come up with this? He goes, well, because I thought about it in a logical manner, and, you know, I'm going to, and that's how physics got started. You know, I'm checking, your, checking everything and make sure. And next thing you know, you've got universities and colleges, and they, you know, they're teaching physics, and, and it's like a lot of money involved here. And here's how it all got started, from a simple statement that drove everybody crazy. And the statement was, here it comes, and you're going to be amazed. You'll see the jaw, I drop it down a little bit, go, wow, he's right. Anyway, here it is. This more uh, this guy, he presents this statement, and they were probably drinking in a bar at the time in Italy, you know, because they had a bunch of drinkers anyway. Who isn't? And he and this made everybody crazy, and this is what started the whole thing. Here is this. Here is how it started. His statement was, "Why did the chicken cross the road?" And they're all going, oh, my God, I have no idea. Oh, let's think about this. Something's chasing the chicken. Um, maybe it had, you know, diarrhea or something. It's a running home, you know, because who well, hasn't had that happen? But that he didn't know. He's just making it funny. And then, you know, and everybody made everybody crazy. So then the guy comes up, you know, the physicist, he thinks it about it logically. Okay, I'm almost in the eight minutes, so i got to stop this because you, you've already fallen asleep anyway. Anyway, so the guy comes up and he says to everybody, after he has a couple of drinks himself, he says, the chicken is across the road, it's a sheep because of whether I'd be a rooster, to get to the other side. And he'll go, oh my goodness. It, does everybody hear that? He's probably right. He, he must be one of them new physicist guys. <laughs> And now he's making all kinds of money and stuff like that, and they got universities and colleges. Anyway, I've you know I've gone on too long about this, and I know you know you right now you're you're walking around going, I, I can't believe it started like that. This is amazing. This is Chef Wildeen. He knows so much stuff. <laughs>